been a little bit of confusion about exactly how you go about obtaining this IOTA wallet. So um, if you follow along, by the end of this video, you'll actually have it all set up. Uh, so just stay with me and we'll set you up. So the first step is to actually go to the GitHub page for IOTA. Uh, I've actually left the link, it's the first link in the description below. So if you click that one, it'll actually take you to this page. If you're not familiar with GitHub, this is the uh, IOTA uh, wallet releases page for uh, on GitHub. So GitHub is basically a place where developers and programmers can share, collaborate, and kind of build projects together because there are normally a lot of different, you know, a lot of different moving parts going on, and it just allows them to track the whole process. This is the page, the page for just their wallet releases. So you can see what we're up to. The latest version is version 2.3.0. That did not uh, work for me today. So the uh, if we scroll down to the previous version, that was version 2.2.6. And this did work. So all you need to do is have a look at the download section over here. If you go, if you've got a Mac, what you want to do is click the .dmg file, this one here. If you've got a Windows computer, what you want to do is click the .exe file here. So that'll take a couple of minutes to download. Once it's actually done, what will happen is you'll get a little pop-up here like this. And what you want to do is click on that icon and drag it into your applications. I've already done that, so I don't need to. And then what you need to do is go over to your applications and then you'll actually see the wallet there. So if you click that one, that will pop up and you'll be able to see this one right here. So I'll just make this a little bit more pretty. There we go. And so this is basically the light version. If you get a choice between the light and basically the full node version, click the light version. Uh, if it's asked you to put in any other details, what you want to do is actually go, I'll leave, this is, this will be the second link, which will be under uh, in the description below. What we're looking at here is the IOTA support page. And there's some information here which I'd highly recommend reading. But what you sometimes need is one of these links. So if it's asking you for a certain link to connect to the network, uh, you can click the, copy and paste this one here, or you can copy and paste any of these uh, URLs you know, over on the left-hand side of this page here. And what you want to do is basically get the one on the top or the one in the green that they're saying go with this one. Alrighty, so once that's done, you will get back to uh, to this page here. Bear with me for a second. Okay. And then what we want to do is generate a seed. So similar with Bitcoin, you've got your public and private keys. Uh, and then if you're using a wallet like Jax, what they do is have a 12 word seed. We need to do the same thing here with your IOTA wallet. So what you want to do is click on the tools icon. Uh, you can see this little drop down just below where you can see uh, where I've got this camera cutting off. You've got generate seed. So if you click generate seed, there you go. So that will pop up. What you want to do is copy that. Uh, you want to either write that down, uh, encrypt it a little bit and keep it in a very safe place because that is the copy of your wallet. So copy that close and then what you want to do is just paste that in and log in and so once you're actually logged in there you go this is your wallet and so you can see there's nothing uh, no balance here if you want to send uh, you'll get the address and you can choose uh, similar to how Bitcoin has uh, Satoshi's and millibits etc uh, IOTA has a similar kind of routine over here go into history, I've got zero transfers and zero addresses. Even though it says for me to receive, I can actually, uh, I've got an address here. And that, that's because this address isn't actually attached to the network yet. So what I need to do is attach it to the Tangle. And the Tangle is kind of like the blockchain. So if we click Attach Tangle there, there we go, Address Attached. And so if we scroll down to history, we can see that, there we go, bing, we do have one transfer and one address. So that was actually a transfer that actually happened, uh, but there was no money actually moving to a throw. So it was basically a zero, uh, zero dollar transaction or a zero iota transaction. And so now you're ready to rock and roll.
So if you do have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comment section below. But uh, this will get you all set up and ready to rock and roll. So I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.